Hey guys, so in this module of the free email marketing course that I'm doing for e-commerce brand owners, I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how to build out the sunset unengaged flow, which basically automatically cleans out your mailing list for your Shopify brand or WooCommerce brand, wherever your brand is really hosted. So that way your list health is good over the long run and your deliverability is like on point, right? So I'm gonna jump into a screen share now. I'm gonna show you guys how to build out the segment inside of Klaviyo, give you some content ideas and also show you guys how to actually build out the flow itself inside of Klaviyo. So first things first, you're gonna to wanna to go over to the list and segments section and you're gonna to wanna to hit create a new segment. Obviously, cause this is a demo account, like uh, there's not actually gonna be anyone in this specific segment, but we're gonna make it anyways so I can show you guys the definition. So name it unengaged, engaged segment, right? And then we're gonna do someone who has or has not done received email is at least 20 times in the last 90 days. So by the way, with these like uh, how many emails and how many days, you can kind of customize it to the frequency in which your brand sends. But I'm just gonna give you like some uh, fairly general values that we like to include, but obviously you wanna tailor these to your own sending cycle schedules, etc. Next filter we wanna have and make sure it's an and option is has someone has or has not done open email zero times in the last 90 days, or you can do this as 180, 120, it really depends. So in this case, I'm just gonna do 120 to symbolize four months, clicked email zero times in the last 90 days, and someone has or has not done started checkout, checkout started zero times in the last 90 days, and we're also gonna do is not a customer in the past year. Someone has or has not done placed order zero times in the last 365 days. Because obviously if, if they're already a customer, you wanna keep them on the list for as long as possible, right? So with these filters in mind, essentially you could just hit create a segment and the segment is basically done. So. Once we send these sunset unengaged emails, if they engage with them in any way, whether it be an open or a click, they're automatically removed from this segment, right? So what we're gonna do is now, I'm gonna show you guys how to build the sunset flow. So you're gonna go ahead to the flow section, create a flow, and by default, so for the template itself, we're gonna use the standard variation as opposed to the customer versus non-customer section because we already filter for that, right? And for the trigger, we're gonna select the segment that we just created. So I'm gonna name this Plethora Sunset, right? Boom. And by the way, it says the prerequisite for this flow is to build a sunset segment. If you want some additional help in terms of defining the segment, you can click into this article to figure out kind of like what's right for you. But pretty much the segment is already created, so I'm just gonna link it up to the right segment, hit create a flow filter, and this is basically done. So now you'll see that by default, there's gonna be a smart sending variable right here that is enabled. You can go ahead and keep that one on actually because these are unengaged subscribers. If they've received an email recently, they can kind of like, that campaign itself can be used as like a sunset email, right? So we wanna keep smart sending on for both of these templates. And then in terms of the delay, set it, keep it as one day, seven days, it's completely fine. And the five days you create a profile pr property, basically tagging them as unengaged, right? So once they have the unengaged tag, you can then create a segment filtering specifically for people with the profile property where unengaged equals true, export them as a list and clean them out every like 90 days or so. So pretty much what you wanna do here is then you're gonna to wanna to start uploading the content after you customize the subject line and the preview text, right? So in terms of the content itself, the templates are fairly standard. It's basically like a good my message, right? So it's kind of like a breakup text or whatever, the equivalent of. So the first email is fairly straightforward. It's just like, hey, it's been ages since you last engaged with our emails. So instead of, you know, just like giving you guys another generic informational email or content-based email, here's just like a simple straight up offer in case you wanted to come back if not, that's totally cool. We'll leave the unsub link here, et cetera, et cetera. So basically the whole point is to get people to re-engage with your emails themselves, right? And also provide a pretty heavy discount incentive for people to come back and repurchase from you guys. So in terms of the template itself, you're gonna wanna go ahead and click edit template. You can do this as a design-based one or a plain text one. By default, Klaviyo uses kind of more of a plain texty type of email to remove any images, et cetera, to like boost deliverability 
ability. But pretty much, this is a very generic message that you could stick with, but we're gonna upload our own template in here as an agency. One of the things I do wanna highlight to you guys, by the way, that I forgot to mention just now, is in terms of the subject line, you can really basically, you can really get like every trick out of the book to get people to re-engage. One of the most relevant ways to get people to re-engage is just doing the reply to type of emails in the subject line, because that makes it seem like it's from a real person, making, it, making people more likely to kind of open the email pretty much. And then also in the sender name, instead of using the brand name, you can use like a real founder's name, etc., or even just like the sender address in here. You can use the sender name, add a preview text, make sure you use some tricks when it comes to subject lines in terms of the reply to, or you can make everything lowercase. That also is proven to do quite well. So you could do, are you still here? Or like just re uh, unsubscribe even right? Something along those lines. It just obviously make the subject line relevant to the actual content itself. So with the subject line like this, I wouldn't actually match it with a design like this. It would be more so of a plain text email like this one right here, right? So once this is basically done, you're going to want to go ahead and go into the email itself and hit edit email. And you're just going to export this as like a slice as we always do, right? So for example, the slice should already be created. So we're just going to go ahead and find the relevant slice right here. Slice one, export this as a JPEG, boom, so it's, we'll call it TUI, sunset 1.1, something like that, right? So we're gonna go ahead and save, export the rest of slices as well. If you want to learn how to actually build out the email inside of Klaviyo, I have a tutorial that's already been uploaded to the channel as a part of this free course that I'm doing. So you can find the playlist of the free course in the description of this video where I basically cover all of the various blocks that you would essentially use to build out the email itself. But I'm just gonna demo one of the blocks as an image block just for the sake of time. But basically you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and upload the image, click TUISS 1.1. Boom, and then you're gonna upload the link address of the actual website, add some alt text, which is basically like something like, here's a gift for you. Um, thank you for reading the email, something along those lines. It doesn't really matter, honestly. The alt text is just good deliverability practice to essentially have in the actual email content itself. And then we're gonna go ahead and upload this dynamic discount code. So we're gonna go ahead and drag in a text block where you can kind of like customize the discount, etc. For this instance, we're using a dynamic code, however, a lot of the time for the sunset flows, we wanna make sure the discount code is pre-created within Shopify and call it maybe like goodbye 15 or like goodbye uh, 10, goodbye 20, whatever the discount is. In this instance, we're using a 15% discount just so that it's very easy for people to spell as opposed to them needing to like highlight the text, copy it over to Shopify to in the checkout section to actually get the discount, right? We wanna minimize the friction in that process as much as possible. So once this is done and the email is essentially uploaded, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and exit from here. Pretty much for the rest of the blocks is kind of a same, the same scenario in terms of like just uploading it from Figma through slices. If you wanna learn how to use things like the table blocks, the split sections, etc., please do watch the module where I break down how to actually upload every single individual type of email block into Klaviyo to make your emails look nice and professional. Now, if you're looking at these designs and you're feeling a little overwhelmed in terms of like ideation and stuff, you can actually get this template of flows that we've done for 10 brands. If you sign up to my mailing list, I'll send you guys this as like an opt-in bonus pretty much to this Figma file where it has a bunch of templates for, diff for the various flows that we've done for clients in the past. So yeah, just go ahead and send, sign up to my mailing list. I also send out weekly e-commerce and email marketing tips to help you grow your brand. Now, if you're looking at this and you just don't really have the time or capacity to do it, feel free to book on a call with myself and I'd be more than happy to get my team to run your email and SMS marketing for your brand. So that's pretty much that, right? In terms of getting the content uploaded, the second email is basically, hey, this is really like final call. We're not gonna email you anymore and 
from that, they're, they're unengaged, right? So once the email contents are uploaded, you can stick with the current time delays. That's actually not a problem at all in terms of waiting one day, setting the time delay to a fixed time. And I would just change this to the local recipient's time zone. That's all good. And from here on out, you can go ahead and create the unengaged property. You can leave this one as default because what you're essentially going to do is you're going to go over to listen segments. You're going to create a new segment for like cleaning purposes, pretty much. And you're going to call this unengaged equals true, right? And you're gonna go ahead and select properties about someone and you're gonna go ahead and find the unengaged property. Now, obviously, because this is a demo account, we don't actually have any unengaged subscribers. So this custom property wouldn't actually come up, but when it inevitably does come up, you just wanna to, want to set it to equals and you're gonna to wanna to put true, there you go. So once this is done, you're gonna to wanna to hit create a segment and every kind of like 30, 60, 90 days, whenever you really have the time, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and then just clean the segment out. And the way you do this is by going into the segment itself. So for example, like this one right here, the unengaged segment, and you're gonna to need to convert it to a list first. So you're gonna export this as a CSV, right? Once you export this as a CSV, you're gonna to wanna to go to the profile section and you're gonna to go to view suppressed profiles and you're just gonna go ahead and import, right? Hit import, upload the CSV, suppress everyone and you're good to go. This flow is actually pretty important because over the long run, if you grow to become a really big brand, it's gonna help you lower your Klaviyo bills by a few hundred dollars every single month. And also it's gonna keep your engagements super high. So if you have any questions, as I said, feel free to book in a call if you're an e-commerce brand. And I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please do subscribe for the remaining modules of this free course. And if you wanna watch the whole of this course, there's gonna be a playlist linked in the description below. Thank you guys for watching.